Hello, everybody. Allow me to introduce you to the star of tonight's video. This is an Arduino 2560, and over there is an Arduino Due. And they are running the Digital Equipment PDP-8 computer simulated on themselves here in just 8 kilobyte RAM. A computer with 4 kilowatts of memory running the language Focal 69. I have connected them to my typewriter slash terminal and you can see that we are greeted with the successful loading of Focal. It is now asking us whether we want certain mathematical functions. And if we answer yes, we're going to have a more capable 1960s machine. And if we answer no, we'll have more space for our program. So do we really want to have logarithms, exponentiation and arcus tangens? And if we say yes, then it will also assume that we want to have sinus and cosinus. And we are going to say yes, but it must be a capital yes, because these are the 1960s and lowercase characters are only affordable to the richest kings of Europe. So we say yes, and then we are greeted with a prompt. And we can say type 355 divided by 113, which is a rather nice approximation of pi, and an exclamation mark so that uh, it is printing a new line afterwards. Yeah, there we go. It printed it correctly. Here is your approximated pi. And we're running now Focal on a PDP-8 on an Arduino Mega 2560, which is a not very powerful machine with just 8 kilobyte RAM. Now, <laughs> how did we come here? Well, you know, I always wanted to emulate a PDP-8 on an Arduino. Now, I am well aware that there is a Pi DP8 and the Pi DP11, which are essentially using the SimH simulator to run the respective computers they are emulating. Now, the problem with that solution is that you're running a way too powerful machine. Like, you know, something with hundreds, if not thousands of megabytes of RAM is used to emulate something which has kilobytes of RAM. This is somehow you know, unfitting. I wanted to have something with more charm, something which is closer to the metal. And in my search of, you know, PDP-8 simulators, I stumbled over the work of an awesome gentleman named Jean-Claude. And Jean-Claude had created in 256 lines of C an, a working PDP-8 emulator, which was loading a focal tape. Uh, you could say like P8 focal bin, it would load it and execute it. And I was so extremely impressed by that, that, or that I ran it on my cell phone, <laughs> and I have made a video about that too, uh, but I am saving that for another time. Now, anyway, I was so impressed by his work that I had a closer look at it, and his c code was extremely clean and therefore it was possible for me to port it over to Arduino, first by eliminating any fancy Unixoid libraries he had there, which were very, very few actually, and he used them in a very modest way, so that was not too difficult. And the other thing was getting Focal into the thing, which wasn't so far interesting as the Arduino doesn't have a file system, you know, and I didn't want to hang up there some sort of shield. I just wanted, you know, the machine as you have it in your drawer. So how do I get Focal on it? Well, I modified his uh, PDP-8 simulator in such a way that it dumped its memory immediately after loading Focal. And then I set in my um, I know file, you know, this, this file which you use in Arduino in order to load things. 
like something like a C file basically. Um, I used directly this memory dump to initialize the memory array and I removed all loading code. So if you're using this thing, you will be running focal unless you modify my file in so far that you remove my memory dump and put in another. Now, there's one thing I should maybe say in all fairness. The poor thing here, having only eight kilobyte RAM, cannot initialize the full 4K words necessary to run the PDP-8. Therefore, I simply cut off the end of the RAM. I don't know whether this has any effects, but so far Focal seems to be working and I'm extremely satisfied. I just saw in the memory dump that it ends in zeros and I thought, okay, I'll cut a few zeros given that they were not initialized to anything to begin with and hope for the best. <laughs> and so far this is working. The same thing which is possible here is possible there too. It runs much faster and of course Duo is much more capable than a Mega uh, 2560. Maybe I should demonstrate that. And anyway, now I have fulfilled a dream of mine, having a 1960s computer, specifically the PDP-8, as close to the hardware as possible and, you know, using a hardware which is suitably powerless. Something which is suitably inept. Well, here I have <laughs> basically connected simply the whole thing to a serial port. And I'm using for my serial port the pins 16 and 17. And I can tell you something, I don't know why, but if you're using pin 16 and 17 in your devices, they nearly always work. It's, it is an issue, in fact. Yeah, I think there we have them. 16 and 17, yes. Uh, and the voltage. The point is that if you're using serial um, ports in Arduino, I have experienced that theory and practice sometimes differ, in particular with cheap Chinese clones. So you do not always get to get a working machine just like uh, according to specifications, just because you connected this uh, it as as uh, it goes by the manual, you know. In particular with the first serial port, I'm oftentimes having issues. But if you find anything working over pin 16 and 17, that usually does work. So now I have in general, I think, set up the whole thing. And now let's connect it to, this is on five volt, isn't it? Yes, let's connect it to power. And we should be greeted with the same thing essentially. So yeah, you are running. Let us reset you. Yeah, you see, yes, this thing is now working in such a way that the 60s would be proud of it. Shall we have logarithm exponentiation and arcus tangens? Let's again say yes. And once again, we're greeted by the prompt and we can, you know, test it. We can try a for loop. We can say for um, x equal to minus 4 in a step of 1 up to 3 <laughs> uh, type uh, yeah there's yes type type the thing we have we, we must use capital letters. If you use lowercase letters, it doesn't know what you're, what you're inputting there. Type X and an exclamation mark in order to get a new line. So we say enter. So you see, it is just successfully printing the numbers from minus four to plus three. So that I think suffices as a demonstration. So basically both of those things work. The Due has the full 4K words of RAM. These are, you know, 12 bit words. So this was a bit of a weird machine by nowadays measure. measure. 
but it does operate. And I now have a machine here which costs about oh, between 50 and 100,000 times less than the PDP-8 has been costing then. And well, if you want to know more about Focal 69, there are enough materials online. Um, all in all, it's a language extremely similar to BASIC. And in, indeed so similar that when the, the Digital Equipment Corporation brought out BASIC for the PDP-8, it modified uh, the Focal file. <laughs> so in fact, that's just you just need to get a bit used to a different syntax, but you will feel right at home with it. And that's pretty much it for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. And I do hope that you have some form of Arduino in order to try that out. I shall leave a link in the description to the source code. I hope to see you here again and have a pleasant evening. Goodbye.